if you could take one guy to an island with you and you knew you'd be safe because he was the best man, he was going to keep you happy, if it was between me and your father, who would you take? My daddy. I don't think you're wrong about that. Casey Affleck has been delivering interesting performances in film after film for year after year, but I think he takes it to the next level in Manchester by the Sea. He could be looking at a Best Actor nomination. Uh, Kenneth Lonergan is the writer and director of this film. It's one of the best movies of the year. It's also in some ways one of the most sorrowful and sometimes most heartbreaking films I've seen in recent years, but like all great art, just because it happens to be about something that's very serious and sometimes people even say, wow, a little bit depressing, that does not mean it can't be very inspiring and exhilarating and uplifting to experience such great work. The story here has Affleck playing a guy with a troubled past who has to return home to take care of his 16-year-old nephew who's been left alone. The 16-year-old nephew is, is a very young boy, lost his mother who uh, went off and just couldn't take care of uh, him because of her problems with addiction. And then he literally lost his father, who was played by Kyle Chandler, in a wonderful performance in flashbacks. We also get Michelle Williams, who plays Casey Affleck's ex-wife. She gives a searing, heartbreaking performance. I could see her getting a nomination for Best Supporting Actress. This is a beautiful film to look at. It's a film that stays with you, stays in your heart and your head for days and weeks and probably for years to come. It's called Manchester by the Sea. I'm giving it four stars, my highest rating. Please check it out.